All right, well, hello and welcome. As a Broncos fan, I just want to say that sucked. Oh, well, <laughs> time to go into the offseason. Congrats to the Chiefs, uh, real talk. But we need to address something. I do not care about what kind of program Kyle Shanahan has built. I can respect the fact that he's built an insanely talented roster. I can respect that he has probably one of the best support coaching staff year in and year out. And the fact that they were in a literal dumpster before he got there and where they are now really says a lot about him turning around the program and John Lynch turning around the program. And it all began with trading for Jimmy Garoppolo. And whenever people make their lists about who the best coaches in the NFL are now, everyone always talks about Reed, Tomlin, and John Harbaugh. But it's safe to say we need to eliminate Kyle Shanahan from that conversation until he actually gets it done when it matters. He actually gets it done in crunch time. Because let's be honest, the 49ers did not deserve to win this game. Kyle Shanahan did not deserve to win this game. KC won this game, not because they played better, and honestly, didn't play that much better than Buffalo or Baltimore. But their opponents just kept shooting themselves in the foot over and over again, and that is what happened with the San Francisco 49ers again this time, and it's what happened when they played the 49ers in the last Super Bowl too. It's what happened to the Falcons when... Uh, him and Dan Quinn just completely shit the bed, and they blew a 28-3 lead. McCaffrey was your best shot at keeping up with Kansas City's defense. Kansas City's secondary had been locked down all year, and Debo had been playing on one leg throughout this postseason, so your offense pretty much had to run through CMC. You knew that the focus was going to be on Ayuk, but we've seen this time and time again under Shanahan. Get a huge lead and stop running the ball. It's like that extra week of preparation just does something and makes him completely overthink. And I don't know if he needs to start scripting more, you know, uh, or anything like that. I don't know if he actually needs an OC, but sometimes the NFL doesn't have to be hard. He's been outscored 29 to 74 in the second half of every Super Bowl he's either been in, he's ever been in as either a coordinator or a head coach. He's a guy who just can't get it done in the big moment. And you can blame whatever you want, whoever you want, but it all falls under one umbrella. He relied on Brock Purdy at the end instead of McCaffrey, and look where that got him. Sometimes the fourth quarter big games doesn't have to be hard, and Shanahan made it completely hard. Granted, there is nothing you can do to simulate the pressure of having a lead in the Super Bowl. But in overtime, with them parked in the red zone, he failed to come up with a play that would get them a touchdown. Had they done so, the pressure would have been on Mahomes to respond accordingly, and the winning touchdown would have merely continued the game instead of ending it. And Shanahan's lost in a lot of ways. Uh, McCole Hardman is as tough as it gets. He had double-digit leads in three Super Bowls and lost two of them on a game-ending overtime touchdown. He abandoned the run in the third quarter again. That whole third quarter was absolutely inexcusable. He outdoes himself as a genius all the time. This reminds me of Andy Reid's early career, and I hope he can turn it around for his sake. I hope he finally does get it done. But at the same time, calling a pass on third and four when you could have run a QB sneak or rollout run and had the exact same kick if you didn't get the first and probably would have forced Kansas City to take a timeout, I don't know. This, I can't stand watching this guy lose to Kansas City over and over again. And I was rooting for the Niners, especially because I can't stand the Chiefs. Uh, Granted, I respect Veach and the way that team has been built. But he always just gives a master class in shitty play calling in the second half of big games. And he, Kyle Shanahan, is exactly who he thought he was heading into this game. First, he failed in Atlanta. Then he failed San Francisco. And finally, he failed America with Mahomes, Kelsey, and Taylor Swift. Awful play calling in the second half. Ball control should have been the plan uh, in all those games, but it doesn't matter who has Kyle Shanahan, Josh Allen, Christian McCaffrey, Lamar Jackson, they'd still lose to Mahomes and the Chiefs. 15 is inevitable. And I respect that in his post-game press conference, he said, I'm so proud of Brock. He shows up every week. He plays. He had an unbelievable year and did a hell of a job today. And the 49ers just, I just don't understand why you did not run the ball more in the second half. Yes. Christian McCaffrey touched the ball 22 times today. He should have touched 30. Kyle Shanahan said that the goal was to get McCaffrey 30 carries in their game plan, in their game script. And I just can't believe that we saw it again. You had every opportunity 
to disprove this label of being a choker. You had every opportunity to shed this label of not being able to get it done in crunch time. And guess what? He couldn't get it done. This was the 49ers' best chance. Uh, you do not know the next time you will be back. Granted, 2020 was equally as good of a chance considering they were literally up 10 minutes, or no, they were up by 10 with 7 minutes left in the game. <sighs> but at the same time, I don't know. He deserves credit with Lynch for building the 49ers into the juggernaut that they are. But 28-3, 20-10, to and 10-0 will follow him wherever he goes. This is just embarrassing for Kyle Shanahan. He is a choker. We need to label him as what he is. Like I said, his you know, plan of how to develop players and the ability to find late round steals, it is absolutely incredible. And he deserves a lot of credit for that. But at the same time, we cannot give him credit for being one of the best coaches in the league until he finally can get this team over the hump. Because when you think about Mike Tomlin and John Harbaugh, do you think that those guys would be blowing leads like this in a game as big as this? I mean, jury's still out on if they get there anyway, to be completely honest. But it takes mental toughness to rally your unit and get your team believing that they can win. And the 49ers did not play like a team that ever thought they could win. They played like a team that was scared to lose. And you get exactly what you deserve when it comes to that. So... Kyle Shanahan, I hope you can turn it around. As some, as a Broncos descendant, I hope you figure it out. I hope that you can finally get Kittle, Bosa, McCaffrey, everything they deserve, Warner, uh, Trent Williams. I hope that you can finally do it for those guys someday. But at the same time, you are what you are, and you are a choker.